Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this first project, I'll be using these mirrors and I'm going to start off by removing the black tabs from the back. Now I'm just putting my mirrors into place before gluing them together. I'm sitting the circle mirror to the side for now and then I'm going to flip all the other mirrors over so I can glue them together. I'll be bonding all my mirrors together with these craft sticks and now I'm just going to cut them in half. I'm using these foam pieces to help hang my wall decor and I'm going to glue one at the top and one at the bottom and that will also level it out. I'm adding my circle mirror right to the center and then I'm going to glue my silver beaded necklaces around the circle mirror. Now I'm going to finish decorating with these jewel border stickers. I'm placing these stickers around the entire perimeter only for the top and bottom mirrors. Y'all gonna see in a second exactly how I covered up these imperfections. I'm using these ice rocks to cover up the imperfections and I'm gluing about eight pieces to each mirror. This wall mirror was very quick and easy to make. All items are from the Dollar Tree except for the ice rocks, but comment down below and let me know what y'all think. It can also be used as a centerpiece, a candle holder, or whatever you desire. For this next project, I'm using two of these glass vases that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and more of those border stickers. I'm placing two strips on each side. I ran out of the border stickers, so that's why this side only has one, but that's okay because I will position it to the back. These flower candle holders are from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm going to glue these to the bottom of my vases. If you are going to recreate these projects, then I suggest using a stronger adhesive so your projects can last over time. These glass bottles are from the Dollar Tree as well, and I'm not going to use any glue for these. So I'm simply just going to pop the top off and then place the top in the center of the candle holders and then use these pink vase fillers that I purchased from Amazon to cover them up. Well, cover the bottom up. These vases were quick and easy to make as well. 
these can be made without using any glue. I could have simply just placed the flower candle holders right on top of my vases. But tell me what y'all think down in the comments. These can also be displayed without the glass bottles. Okay, so for this next project, I'm making some palm trees and I'm gonna just take my gems that I purchased from Amazon and fill the bottles. I'm using those same flower candle holders and I'm just gonna glue them to the top of my bottles. I'll also be using the bottle tops and I just use more of the jewel border stickers to cover up the silicone bottom. I think these glass bottle palm trees are so cute. Let me know down in the comments if you would recreate these. I'm using those same glass faces and I'm just going to flip them upside down and then fill them up with those same gems. I wanted to add some lights to these, so I'm gonna place these push lights in now and then continue filling my vases with the gems. If you are going to recreate these, then I suggest using a light with a remote so it can be easier for you to turn the lights on and off. I'm using these square mirrors to help keep my gems and my lights in place. I like how these vases turned out. I'm really loving the pink theme for all the DIY projects that I completed today, but my favorite is the wall decor in the palm trees. Comment down below what your favorite is. Tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.